Just a few weeks ago, I did a whole house decluttering video and I decluttered my kitchen, of course. And in today's video, I want to organize my kitchen. I got a few new products that I'm very excited to try out because certain areas of my kitchen could use a little bit more organization. And I also want to share with you the other organizational items that I do have in my kitchen that I've been loving for a while. So. Let's get started. Just a few minutes ago, I got this package in the mail and I was so excited to unbox it that I forgot to record it, but here is what I got. I got this five set piece of bamboo organizers from AE Life and you guys know that I love decluttering and organizing, so this is going to be perfect for my next project. I'm still thinking about where I want to put it, but right now since I am organizing my kitchen. I thought I would try there. I do have a drawer in my kitchen that has a lot of stuff just floating around because there is no organization. So I'm hoping that these will work in there for us because these are so nice and I just can't wait to get organizing. So one area I think that the bamboo organizers will fit is either in here, which I keep knives and other small accessories. And I was thinking here, but I think they're too small for these to fit because they're pretty long, so probably not that. And this is the drawer I think the bamboo organizers will work, so let's give it a try. So this is what I came up with so far after tinkering a little bit with everything. I was able to fit these items into these bins. I put here all the measuring stuff. Here are some tools that we occasionally use. So I put those together. And then here are more of the smaller random things that we use as well. So we have those left for that drawer, but they are pretty big, so they're not gonna fit in these. I can remove this so that way they can fit in there, but first let's see how these look in the drawer. So here's how I used three of the five boxes. I wish they could all fit in here, but they did not, especially because these pieces are a bit larger to fit into the boxes, but everything else was able to fit, so I'm so happy about that. It looks so good. In this little one, I have little tiny random things that we like to use. Here I try to put all the measuring stuff together, and then here are other tools that we 
will use too when cooking and I just love how it looks now. So next I have to see what we can fit into these because they're a lot smaller and I can take this off. So we'll see how we can make this work. The drawer for our knives is also disorganized and I want to try to put these in there. That one will be for the smaller things in here that are floating around like the straws that I have, my hydro flask lid, and then I want to try to put the knives in here so I'm going to have to remove this because I just tried putting one on here and it fits, but only sideways, not straight. Let's, let's figure this out. So from that drawer, what I'm going to declutter is this box. It had the knife in it. Not sure why we wanted to keep the box for this chef knife. This plastic knife is leaving, the straw, and these utensils. This is the divider for this box, so I'm going to put this somewhere else. That way I know where it is and maybe in the future I want to change things up. Maybe use this for another thing and then that way it can use this again so probably just leave it on the side or something so in here we have some knives other special knives some straws that we use these are bamboo reusable utensils our lids for our hydro flasks this little tool doesn't fit in here i mean i guess it fits like that but <laughs> we have some straws wine stopper and that's it the next thing i want to organize are the lids for our pots and pans and we keep those under the sink because that's the only place that they will fit <laughs> okay so i already have a organizer here for our pans and i've had this for a long time i love it it's worked great for us before this, all of them were just sprawled out everywhere. Once I got this organizer, I was so happy. But now we just have a couple of pots here that sit over here on this side. And then our lids kind of just sit back there on the back. We do have a water filter installed. So I'm not sure if that's going to be a problem trying to fit the organizer with the lids. So let's see what we can do. Here are the organizers. I have three of them. I just want to see which one's going to work best. These two are the same. That one's a little bit different and you can adjust it. So let's see if they will fit in here.
This one was a little bit more of a struggle <laughs> just because it's kind of hard to make everything fit because we have a lot of things in the way, things that I can't remove. So I kept these here the same. I ended up putting this pot on top of this one with its lid so that way it's easier to grab instead of it just being here or sitting in the front and then i kept these two together and then put the lid on top here are the rest of the lids for the other pans and then the little baby saucepan is sitting there in the back i put that one back there because it's less frequently used and it won't be too big of a deal to go back there and grab it when we need it so that is how it turned out. I'm really looking forward to seeing how the lids make a difference because like you saw before the lids were all over on the floor and it was a pain to have to bend over reach all the way in the bag and grab the lids so now hopefully with this here this is going to make a difference so that way we can just open and grab very easily. So clearly I didn't get to use these and I'm going to keep them because the next time I go do the kitchen declutter at my parents' house, we are going to be doing the pots and pans over there and who knows, maybe this will work out for them. I'm not really sure if they're going to fit or anything or how that will work but I do want to try it out and if it does work, I'm sure it's going to look even better. So I'm going to hold on to these for now. So make sure you're liking and subscribing to my channel so you don't miss that video. My next favorite thing besides decluttering is organizing. So I'm very excited to continue decluttering and organizing my parents' home. A while back, I bought these cord organizers from Amazon and I only used one out of the four and I just never got around to finding other things to use this for. But today I want to get my cords organized on my appliances. I have the one on my air fryer and I've had it there for months and it's been great. I just have not had the time or made the time to put these other ones on other things. So. Let's see what we can find. So this is the air fryer and here's the cord holder. It attaches super easily. I've had no issues with this. It's been stuck on there this whole time without any issues. I don't have any problems with it coming off or anything and it just very nicely wraps my cord and keeps it in place, which I love. So let's get these other ones on things now. So I think using one of those holders for the Instant Pot is also going to be a good idea. I keep both the Instant Pot and the air fryer together and this cord is just always in the way whenever I want to grab the air fryer so let's put one on here. So the Instant Pot already comes with its own cord organizer that's attached but honestly we never use it. and. When we do try to wrap it around, it doesn't stay. So what I like about this one is that you can put it here for the whole thing to stay together. Here I feel like you just need to have something else to wrap it around with so it stays. Maybe I'm doing it wrong and maybe you guys know how to organize the cord on that. But personally, I like having this on the air fryer. So I know I'm going to probably want this here. So what I'll do is stick it on here, probably like this. So I haven't taken the sticky part off yet, but I wrapped the cord around just to see what it would look like. And I think having it like this will work. So it'll go like that and then like that. Or I could go staying up like that. The Instant Pot has cord organization. Perfect. Here at the top of the cupboard, we still have these 
containers. I did a whole video when I first got them and it's been a while. I can't remember when I got them, but we're still using them, still love them. Have some baking stuff, some rice and oatmeal in them. Those containers are great. They're so airtight. Keeps my food nice and fresh, so still love it. And then down here we have this Lazy Susan. I got this about a month or two ago, so pretty recently. And before this, all of these hot sauces and condiments were just here on the shelf, all sprawled out everywhere. And now they're all contained in here, so it's pretty easy to use whenever I need something. I can just spin it and grab whatever I need. And then these ones just didn't fit in here because one, there's not enough room, and then two, because of the shelf. These are a little bit too tall, so they just sit there on the side, but we love this Lazy Susan. I also love this one because it has a handle, so whenever I'm not standing on a ladder, I can just grab it from here at the bottom and pull the whole thing down. And then down here, I also did a video showing you guys when I got these spice organizers and still love them still use them honestly they're great and also a while ago i got this little tiered shelf for the spices i think i got this thrifted or either on clearance from tj maxx but still use everything and i love it it looks so much more organized than before in this cupboard you guys have seen these little plastic pull out bins that i thrifted a while back and again i love them I love this because, again, when I'm down at the bottom, I can just grab this very easily, pull out the bin, and just grab what I need. So we love these. And then I also have this little plastic bin. Here I just keep a lot of the smaller things like our vitamins, bag chip clips, condiments, other smaller items just to contain them all. And that's pretty much it for this cupboard. Actually, right now that I'm in here, totally forgot that I was going to declutter this. I never use this anymore, so we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of it right now. Now that's how it looks. This is where we keep our plates and not much organization here. We just lay them out on the shelves like that. Most of them are in the dishwasher right now, so that's why it's a little bit empty. And then in this last section, you guys have also seen this before. Not much has changed. Still have my cup organizer up there, my mugs in this second one, and then my glasses here on the third one. This little shelf riser has been very helpful because I do have a lot of mugs. I love mugs and so does my partner, so we have our little collection sitting in there. And then here at the bottom, just our glasses, nothing special. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. As we all know, the kitchen is the heart of the home and putting in a simple organization is just going to make a huge difference when you're using your kitchen. Be sure to check the description box below to find links to everything in this video. If you liked it, make sure you like, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys soon.